Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's exit the lightning club here and head over to the challenge hall. Oh! 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 Yeah! Dance! Dance! Revolution! Wait, what? No, no, forget it. Good, good, good. So, uh, yeah, as you can tell, the music here has gotten quite a bit different because... Greetings! Welcome to Challenge Hall! Defeat three opponents here and you shall be presented with a wonderful gift. Please join the competition. Yep, the Challenge Hall is now open. It opens after you get three medals. It closes after you get the fourth medal. So, definitely come here. Uh-oh! Hi, Mark. You're competing too. I'm the one who's going to defeat three opponents. The prize, level 60 Mewtwo, belongs to me. You just sit tight and watch me win. See ya! <laughs> U.S.O.B. Okay, I'm gonna go take him down later. Hey now, it's the Challenge Cup! Hey now, I'm gonna give it a try! Hey now, I'm gonna beat three people! Hey now, watch win the prize! <laughs> I'm good enough to compete in the Challenge Cup. Girls are just as good at the Pokemon trading card game as boys. True, the time has come to see if all my training has paid off. I'm going to win the Challenge Cup and become a Grandmaster! Oh, everyone's getting all hyped. <laughs> Including Pappy here. I'm gonna win this Challenge Cup! <laughs> anyway, let's go! And register ourselves. So uh, we got a got an opponent up there, and I believe the opponents are randomized, at least for the first two. By the way, there's this guy up here, which is blocking the door. You can't go past this point. It's restricted, but it doesn't matter because no one can get through that door. No one. No one. <laughs> anyway, you. We do not accept entrance at this reception area. Well, come on. You're gonna have to be that picky. I mean, you're that picky that I have to go. Oh, forget it. The first challenge cup is now underway. Defeat three opponents to win the wonderful prize of level 60 Mewtwo. The game will be a one match duel with four prizes. We are now accepting entrance here. Wouldn't you like to enter? You bet I would. And please proceed to the stage. I don't know if I'll be able to do all three duels in this part, but we'll see. Hmm. Well, things are heating up here at the challenge cup. Presently, Mark is still a contender. I just entered! How is it still? Mark is the new challenge. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> There'll be four prizes. Okay, let the duel begin! The lovely... <laughs> it's this guy again. What the... The meteor hand deck! Well... Well... He's probably gonna go down relatively easily. <laughs> Anyway, sorry for not making a video yesterday, I uh, ended up catching yet another cold, as you might be able to hear in my voice, and a little bit of mucus in my laughs and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I just wasn't really up to it yesterday, and a few days before that, and yeah... I mean, the, the two videos that you last seen were uh, videos that I had made when I was just starting to catch the cold, basically. It, it was like one of those sorts of things where... I was feeling okay enough to record, and then it just kind of messed with my voice <laughs> the day after up until today that I'm making this, and I'm so glad Leak Slap did not do any damage, because I don't have basic Pokémon. <laughs> anyway, I should probably use that building- oh, Magmar! Magmar, baby! Um, I'll just end my turn. And see what he's got. Probably gonna keep. I was thought he was gonna keep powering up Farfetch actually, but I guess not. He's done with Farfetch. Um, I think what I'm gonna do here is do this and then surprise him with a plus power flare on the next turn and knock out Farfetch. Because he can't use Leak Slap again, and unless he's got a double colorless energy, that uh, probably wouldn't work too well for him. <laughs> So, yeah, he's kind of stuck at the moment. I mean, he could switch, but because I didn't plus power last turn, he didn't think to switch because he, I didn't put him in the range of uh, getting KO'd, you know, getting Farfetch KO'd and whatnot. So, yeah, it's all a part of my plan and a little bit of AI manipulation. <laughs> 
And, ooh, Kangaskhan. That's nice for a little bit of deck filtering. As well, you know, increasing the um, cards in my hand too, as well. And. <laughs> oh, oh no, here it comes! I knew it was coming! Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about energy removaling that, but. Considering that it only takes one energy card, chances are you're just gonna, uh, you know, just put another energy card on it the next turn and continue attacking. So I thought about saving the energy removal for something else. Anyway, I'm gonna power up Magmar here a little bit more. And... Attack of Flare, I guess. Whoa! By the way, did I put that fourth energy removal in my deck? I don't think I did, and I probably should. <laughs> Yeah, Alright. By the way, uh, energy removal and super energy removal, if I'm not mistaken, were actually banned in uh, Japan Pokemon TCG tournaments at the time because uh, it was considered too powerful. And I can definitely see why, because it's sort of a luck of the draw sort of kind of thing, you know, if you get these things and then just disrupt other things of your opponents, and yeah. Um. Um, -dum 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 I think I'm gonna start powering up Kangaskhan and just continue flaring. Sound good? I thought so. Ooh, no paralyze, no paralyze, yeah! I'm getting oddly lucky. <laughs> so I'll be ahead two prize cards after this turn, which is nice. Plop match off on the bench, and I'll give it an energy card right away. And flare! And what do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Oh, plus power. Uh, Pinsir is probably gonna knock out Growl because yeah, it's Pinsir is kind of kind of mean sometimes if he's powered up on the bench. Not all that much HP, but still. And uh, actually, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, if you look at that, yeah, he didn't really successfully power it up. And come to think of it, that's his only bench Pokemon. I gotta knock it out. <laughs> Um, um, if I were to get Magmar out, I should be able to do a good old fashioned super effective attack, plus hopefully poison, plus hopefully plus power, which should knock out Pinsir. So, if I win next turn, it'll be due to the coin flip. <laughs> I know that's not really a. A good thing to rely on, but you know, if you want to try to accelerate things, you might as well go for the chance that you are presented, basically. Alright, here we go. Magmar, do your duty. Uh, I'll power up Kangaskhan just in case. <laughs> I have no faith in this coin flip. Oh, I win! <laughs> So I do 50 damage plus the poison, which will do 10 more between turns, which equals 60. And I win! Woo! No bench Pokemon! Oh yeah! Woo! And let's see who is next. This part's way, way too short if I end it off here. <laughs> I do believe the first two contenders of this are randomized. I could be wrong about that though. Uh, Michael, I believe he's a part of the Fighting Club. Why, uh, yes, I would like to prepare my deck. Actually, I don't need to prepare my deck. This is why I want to prepare my deck, though. If you go and prepare your deck, you can actually save your game. And so if you lose the game, uh, you don't have to actually lose out on missing this card here. It's sort of like saving before a legendary in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. <laughs> The, well, actually, um, up to, what was it, uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, when they started letting you have repeat legendary visitors if you beat the Elite Four or something like that. So it's up to, like, um, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald that you had to save for legendaries if you wanted to catch them. But anyway, um, as, as long as I'm here, I could also plop in the other energy removal and take out something else. Um, I guess a full heal, because I don't think fighting Pokemon are going to demolish me with a lot of status effects. So yeah, I'm going to save one more time here just to speed things along for the future. And my red deck is ready. So is my body. <laughs> the Heated Battle Deck! 
And notice that the boss music plays even though these are um, regular club members and not actually the big bosses of the clubs. Yeah, I always found that kind of odd. Maybe it's because it's a tournament and if you lose the tournament, you know, you, you lose out on the whole thing. You gotta win three in a row technically even though you don't technically have to because you can save between matches and whatnot. Oh, oh, uh, I guess I'll put out Onyx because it has more HP, but I don't have any fighting energy. That's unfortunate. This is why I like having a deck that's comprised of one or two energy types, because it increases my chance of getting the right energy type. Actually, in fact, if I if it was only one type of Pokemon, I'd always get the right energy type, so what am I even saying that it, it would increase my chances? It would guarantee it if it was just a single... Um, hold on a sec. I want to see... Yeah, it is fighting energy. But what I mean is that if I was playing one type of energy, I wouldn't have to worry about getting the wrong type of energy at all. So I kind of overgeneralize with my added statement there. Uh, da -da, I... I... No, I... No! I guess I could... do that. <laughs> but yeah, if I attach any fire energy to them, it's going to be kind of useless. So, oh, okay, we got a fighting. Let's... Guess get Onyx going here. Maybe I should have saved the energy removal for, removal for Magbar, but yeah, We'll see. Things will hopefully go well. <laughs> Dang cold. Don't worry, I'll make it through the part, though. I mean, what, er, er, I mean, I've been itching to make parts all throughout the cold. Like, I wasn't feeling bad or anything like that. It's just, uh... You know, the whole cold shenanigans are messing with me and whatnot, so yeah. What I'm gonna do is that. And I think when he attaches another energy to Magmar, I am, uh. <coughs> I got sorry, sorry. I'm gonna have to, uh. I'm gonna super energy removal that, excuse me. So. Maybe what I should do is get a fire energy card attached for a discard later on. Maybe? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, if I get it down to... Uh, oh, Poopers, that's what he was waiting for. Um, he was just, yeah, waiting for me to do 20 so he could heal up with that, and then... Yeah, by the way, it, it requires two fire energy to fire punch. So, anyway, I should now... Super energy removal... I'm gonna put that on there. Do this for that, and uh, I'll just attack with the regular rock throw. <laughs> rock throw, and there we go. His turn. By the way, uh, defeating people here in the Challenge Cup won't count to defeating them out in the field for story progression. The Challenge Cups are strictly for getting promotional cards. Got it. Good. So yeah, these this, these sort of things are kind of optional, uh, in that if you don't do them, you'll still be able to get through the game, but it's nice to get those little extra cards along the way, uh, for not only your collection, but, you know, for the future as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just doing scratch damage turn after turn. Watch him play another potion! It's just been four turns of rock throw, rock throw. Rock throw. 10 damage, 10 damage, 10 damage, because I haven't really been able to do the plus power setup yet. And next turn, I'll be able to do the plus power now. The idea is to surprise the computer by doing a plus power just when they think a Pokemon will survive an attack so that they don't switch out or something like that. And he's not really powering up much, is he? Uh, Onyx is going to be really nice for Electabuzz, by the way. <laughs> hmm... Hmm. 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 I guess I'll put it on the bench. Couldn't hurt. And then I'll attach a lightning. I'm waiting for a Charmander so I can get that Charmeleon out. But anyway. Oh, I, uh, uh, I forgot the rock. I mean, well, plus power on the rock throw. And ah! I was thinking too hard about whether or not to put Rattata out. Oh, whatever, I'm gonna knock it, out. knock it out this turn anyway. Oh, sure, and I draw Predicate, of course. I might as well get that powered up. 
Alright, now I don't need the plus power figures. Okay. So, that is one down of the necessary four. And I'm most certainly going to have to knock off four because he's got three on the bench. This is a very similar situation. Um, I could... Um, like, if he knocks out Onyx, switch to Raticate and uh, get Super Fang and cut the HP in half of things, and yeah, it can be pretty handy. Let's just continue with the rock throws, I guess. Not really doing much, but uh, Onyx has a retreat cost of 3, so that's not really ideal, I guess you could say, for this current situation. I mean, attaching other time kinds of energy to Onyx won't help me power up its Harden, and I'm not sure if I'd even want to use Harden uh, anyway, so yeah, the, attaching more energy than one would really be counterproductive to... Uh, you know, the whole energy conservation thing that I guess I'm working on here. And he's gonna do the. Oh, so I was gonna do is a uh, <coughs> flamethrower, excuse me. Guess not. Maybe a flamethrower will come later. Who knows? Oh, I got myself a Charmander. You know what's coming. Oh, yes. So let's see what he does with that Magmar now. Because this time I will plus power. I promise you I will plus power. Oh, God. I, can't, I, I, I probably won't have to plus power, no. No, actually, it'll be fine to uh, uh, plus power if I had a... I should say if I put out a Pokemon that only did 10 HP of damage. But uh, I'm going to put out Eradicates. Sound good? Good. Because I'm still powering up my Charmander. Or should I say Charmeleon. So, let's just bite. Super Fang would only do 10 damage, so that's why I'm biting. It's because Super Fang does damage equal to... Uh, Half rounded up to the nearest 10 of their remaining HP. Mm, scratch damage, literally. You know, I should um, perhaps switch to something that can knock out the Mankey. You know, like right here and now, just to save myself a little bit of headache. So I'm gonna switch to Charmeleon. Plop that on there, and just slash it. There we go, 30 damage! Oh yeah, and oh god, Electabuzz. Well, I can start off with the flamethrower, I guess. Well, maybe slash then flamethrower, maybe. Oh boy, oh, tails, tails, tails. Yes. So that means he does ten damage to himself. Well, actually, with uh, two plus powers in hand, I could have knocked it out by using flamethrower on my next turn. You know, well, this turn now. Because, uh, well, I'll just do it now, just for kicks, because this is the last turn. I'll put both plus powers on them. Yeah, they actually stack. See that P2 next to the health? Yep. So I'm going to use Flamethrower, and I'll watch the 70 damage. Woo! Exactly the amount of HP it has. And that means I win! Woo! The crowd goes wild! Alright, so, who is the last opponent? Who is our next challenger? Oh god. No! 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 Not again! Not again! No! My, my, my deck. I, 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 I gotta prepare it. I gotta... You know, save my game and end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.